Hey everybody, it's Ben here. I'm back with another episode of Computer Craft Challenge. Uh, it's been a little while since I recorded this actually, so uh, I'm coming just slightly rusty, um, but I do recall that I was working on uh, Sherman the Smelter over here. So I am going to get to work on that, but one thing I definitely don't want to forget is to get Sidekick here going because I'm still hoping for diamonds. Um, I've got quite a quite a good haul of everything except diamonds. So let's get him going. Is he in the right spot? Uh, yeah, yep, okay. It's just counting. It's Yeah, that's correct, because he'll go over that way, yeah. Alright, um, oh, I should, uh, oh, that's right, that moss stone. He's probably gonna run right through that, isn't he? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna take my chances. I don't want to spend the time figuring out, fi figuring that out. <laughs> um, if he comes back up with a chest, then I'll know it's time to jump into a hole and find out what he, what he exploded all over the place right right yeah i don't know go on a mining run yes commencing mining and he's gone see you later sidekick um let me just go check if my console is on no it is not oh yes it is Okay, that's where it didn't, it didn't show the little carrot, but whatever, it's on. It's cool. So he'll be coming this way. He's going to be right over at depth 10. All right, so he's he's cruising along. Let's get on to working with Sherman over here. And one thing, oops, one thing I forget. Oh, pardon me. Lag. Uh, let's see. One thing is, I don't need cobblestone, not by a long shot. Um, oh, I have some iron, some gold. I should grab these for my smelt testing. Oh, there's builder, my little builder buddy. Um, do I have food? Yeah, I have food. I'm good with that because that's that's got to be included in the smelting as well. Don't need seeds or trees or anything like that. All right, that's that's a little better. Cleared out my inventory quite a bit more. So, okay. The real reason I was coming down here is that I need. I realized, thinking about this, so I was sitting down to record here, that um, in order for Sherman up there to keep things organized, he is going to need one more chest. Um, to be able to keep uh, fuel organized, um, which um, I could just put it over here, I guess. It's the same same reach, or no, let's put it down here. That'll be fuel storage. Okay, and he's got nothing right now, but I'm gonna give him coal that'll be his fuel slot um actually so i should give him two so because he's going to consume one and then let's see here i think like one thing that i don't totally get like i'm assuming that when you use the drop and the suck commands that that always going to operate from beginning to end in the chest so it shouldn't really be a problem i guess um oh one thing i should keep in mind is expanding him to use multiple furnaces that would be complete that would be totally totally useful anyway for now one furnace did it smelt? Smelter. Smelter. That sounds good. So. Time for a little bit of thinking about this. I'll go check on Sega. So, I'm going to need him. I think, I mean, I've got to take a lot of... 
So that's bedrock. Returning to the surface. Oh, some stuff in 1554. That's cool. Wow, he got nothing other than that. All right. So, oops. So I'm gonna take some shortcuts here that will make him slightly less uh, robust. Like that, he's gonna have to be facing this chest. He's gonna have to be in this exact initial position. In fact, um, just to make things easy. So, first of all, we'll start the program with a loop. Um, I guess I should... Um, now, while true do, end, then we come back... Um, sleep... For two? Hmm. Um, yeah, that's just to, to keep him from going too fast. So then, I mean, he's got he's got a fair, fair sized inventory here. I mean, honestly, this will hold most of what I will ever want to smelt. So I'm again going to take a shortcut on this one. So I will say. I believe that the these suck. Hold on, check the API real quick. Suck. Yes, returns a boolean of success. So here we go. So that means while turtle dot suck do end. All right. So he's gonna suck everything out of that chest. Um. Well, uh, maybe I should I should be a little more careful than that. And say for x equals one fifteen or no, let's say i equals one. I just like to use i. <laughs> it's kind of a convention. One fifteen do if not turtle dot suck then break. And, and, all right, so he'll keep going, and right at the beginning here, I think I want him, I'll select slot one, and it just let it kind of auto-film however it wants after that. So, okay, so he's full up on stuff. Next step is to identify fuel. So what I want here is um, uh, I guess I'll just, yeah, for no use J here, just because it's different than the loop above I. H, I, J, K, so on. 15 do, and... Uh, select J. And then, this is where I want to compare to... Um, oh. That's right. Uh, I need to f before I do this is turn a lot down so he's facing his fuel organization chest. Okay, so here so I select if turtle dot compare to oops to six come on sixteen then. Oh gosh, typos everywhere. Turtle dot drop. There we go. So he will loop through after he's picked everything up. He moves. Here, let's okay. Let's uh, 
save, first of all. Okay, so he's here, he sucks everything up, he moves down, he's facing this chest then. Um, and then he goes through his entire inventory and checks if anything matches the coal over here. If it does, he shoves it all into this chest. And then, I think, so he's shoved everything into the chest here, if it matches coal. So that chest is full of coal, so then we're gonna, I'm gonna do, hmm. Turtle select 16. Uh, I'm gonna try this and just say, Turtle dot suck. There we go. So he should select this slot and then suck everything up. Okay, so now he's got fuel. And then... Uh, so he's got fuel in him. Oh, I guess to start off, I need to start with a... Um, he doesn't do much moving here, really. So this is like... Let's just say here, if turtle.get fuel, fuel level is less than, say, like 1... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I say like twenty, then I'll dot select sixteen. Turtle dot refuel one. There we go. Great. Okay, so that'll take care of his fueling. Should be plenty. So we're coming down further here. This is, I'm just doing this so linearly. This is, <laughs> and I'm not not making shortcut functions or anything. This is all kind of a one-off. Uh, one thing I am gonna need here is to know how long it takes to smelt things. So okay, so this is got fuel. Turtle dot back. Actually, I should reserve one more slot, I think. I'm going to do that. Um, so he won't put things in slot 15 or 16 because I'm going to want to reserve one slot just because it's easiest. Uh, another slot for the smelted product. And so he goes back, and so then turtle dot drop. Wait, right? 16, yeah, back drop one. So it puts one coal in the furnace. Um, this is not the most efficient. It could be made much more so. Let's actually see uh, sh uh, Sidekick. Sidekick should be back up by now. There he is. Yeah, he was just sitting there waiting. Good Sidekick. What do you got for me? Oh, more cobble, mostly. <laughs> Redstone, iron. That's cool. That's cool. Mining run. Yes, please. Have a good time. Great. I'll try to remember that. All right, so we're working. So he's gonna drop one coal in there. Um. Yeah. That seems. That seems right. You can. Oh, what? <laughs> drop up. That would have been. That would have been a little embarrassing. Okay, so then, uh, 
Then we've got uh, turtle dot forward. He moves forward. He's he's so he's underneath the furnace. He moves forward, and then we gotta go turtle dot up. Turtle dot up. Forward up up. Turtle dot back. He's he's facing like this way over towards this chest the whole time. So that's why these are. I mean, this is this is easier movement than it would have been otherwise. He'll only have to turn to drop his output here. So that that should that'll work fine. Okay, so now he's above the furnace. Now we got to do something here for uh, k equals one to fourteen. Do and um, turtle dot select. K if turtle dot uh, it's get item count right get get item oh, hey. compared to so suck uh, get item count yes all right so and I want him to smelt efficiently so turtle dot get I, oops, get item count. Uh, if this is greater than or equal to eight, then uh, no, here actually, I, never mind. I don't want to do that. I want to first say turtle dot drop. Oops, not crop, drop, down, come on, down, eight. And then, so that should have started whatever it was smelting. So this is where I might need to like add some con extra conditional variables to keep this from being too inefficient 